from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury. For they have all contributed from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. The reading from Sacred Scripture today talk to us about generosity, giving to the Lord all that we have and the best that we can do. And even if it's only a little bit, if we make a sacrifice, truly that's greatly appreciated. We see in the Gospel reading the widow, the widow's might, the widow had only a couple little coins, not worth much at all. But it's all that she had. She willingly gave that. It shows how much the Lord appreciated it. Someone else gave a lot of money, but they were very wealthy and could well afford it. Thank God we have people who are wealthy and are generous, but also even more important, people that are willing to make a sacrifice for what little they have to give of that. The Lord truly is appreciative of that. There's a story of a <coughs> young couple and they were, and got, just got married and they were driving away and it was nighttime and the car broke down out in the middle of nowhere and they had to walk to a farmhouse. They saw a light on, they went to the farmhouse and knocked on the door and they said to the, the man who came there with his wife, they said, our car broke down, we have no place to sleep. Any possibility that you could help us out for the night? As they were talking, the man noticed that the girl was, shook her head a little bit and some rice came out of her hair. And he looked at his wife and she looked at him right away and this thought hit him. They just got married. This is their wedding day. And so the man said to his wife, he said, sure, we, got a, we have an extra bedroom upstairs. We'll be happy to fix it up for you. Why don't you go and get your stuff out of the car and come on back and you can have that bedroom for the night. So they were delighted. So they went back to the car and came back. And when they came back, <coughs> the husband and wife sent them upstairs. They went upstairs for the night. Everyone went to bed happily. In the morning, they got up and they were freshened up and they were about to leave and they, the, the man took a $10 bill and threw it on the dresser, kind of a gesture of thanks. And they were walking downstairs, they walked through the living room and lo and behold, there was the husband and wife asleep in the two chairs in the living room. That was the only bedroom they had had and they gave up their only bedroom and they went to sleep in the chairs with no bed at all. That was the kind of sacrifice they made because they saw, noticed that these were newlyweds and they were very appreciative of the fact that this was their first night together. And so the man then went back upstairs and added another $20 bill for the little gift he had, then they departed on their way. But it shows the generosity of some people, the generosity of that couple that lived there to reach out to this young couple and give them the, a room to stay. Not only just a room, give them their room, the only room they had in the house. This was a willingness to make, to make that kind of a sacrifice. We know that as we go through life, we're asked to try to be generous and to make sacrifices from time to time. We're all given a certain amount of time, a certain amount of talent, a certain amount of financial resources. The Lord asks us to do the best we can in giving back to him what he has given to us. We know that our financial resources, we give what we can, and we strive to do the best we can to make sacrificial givings over time. But even more important, sometimes we forget about it, is the giving of our time, talent. We all have a certain amount of time, but we can reach out to others to help other people who are in need, do little favors for people. I'm just thinking of everybody who was at Mass tonight on the way home tonight, stopped off to visit somebody in a nursing home or a neighbor next door for 10 minutes. What a wonderful gesture that would be, how wonderful and appreciative that, that would be on the part of those people to have a visitor to come to stop in and say hello, especially now getting towards the Christmas season. And also, you have an opportunity to bring someone like that, Holy Communion. It's a wonderful time to spend a few moments with someone and do something very, very worthwhile with the time that you have given to you. And it takes very, very little effort, actually. And so all of us have many different times, there are many different activities, especially here in this parish, to reach out to others with the social justice programs, the way of reaching out, helping with food and food baskets and everything during Thanksgiving and Christmas time. We should take advantage of those opportunities because they're so meaningful, so appreciated by others. 
and it shows that our true love of the, and the gratefulness that we have of what we have been blessed with by Almighty God to try to reach out to others, thanking God for the time, the talent, the resources we do have, and reaching out to share them with others, who certainly will benefit from them, and truly will be most appreciated, appreciated by them.